cancel culture doesn't exist. That's a refrain often shouted loudly by commentators on the left, uh, usually, by the way, as they're waving their metaphorical pitchforks, attempting to drive another high-profile person from their job, uh, destroying them financially and reputationally in the process, usually for expressing a view or backing a cause they deem unpalatable. Of course, it doesn't matter that those views are actually shared by the majority of Brits because the mainstream media and the political establishment oppose them. No case of cancellation, though, is more egregious than that of Rasheen Murphy, the until recently beloved Irish singer, formerly the front woman of the band Maloko, who has found herself on the wrong side of the woke brigade for expressing the perfectly sensible view that children should not put on disgusting and dangerous drugs to reverse puberty. So I want to share with you the post that Rasheen made to cause all of this drama on her private Facebook account. Please don't call me a turf. Please don't keep using that word against women. I get you, but puberty blockers are effed. Absolutely desolate. Big Pharma laughing all the way to the bank. Little mixed up kids are vulnerable and need to be protected. That's just true. Now, rather than be celebrated for protecting vulnerable kids, Rasheen found herself cancelled by the entertainment industry. Despite a groveling and totally unnecessary apology, her record company stopped actively promoting the album. The Guardian claimed in their five-star review that her music was now forever tainted and her gigs were axed. But the wise British people have responded by buying her album hit parade in its droves with a number two spot, which is actually the best of her storied career now predicted. Rather than for once, just for once, trying to show they're on the side of the people, the BBC has shown its bias colours by outrageously cancelling Rasheen too. Ten hours of programming dedicated to her on the Six Music Station were axed at the last minute, replaced by programming on the woke rapper Little Sims. The BBC have tried to deny anything sinister is afoot, but here's the proof of the schedule change, which the Daily Mail reports was made on Monday during crisis meetings that came as a direct result of the swirling controversy. Now, Rasheen joins Guy Pearce, Amanda Abington, Neo, Graham Linehan and Alice Cooper, who have been cancelled over the past few weeks for speaking out on the reality of gender. No wonder far more high-profile figures are terrified into silence. Winston Marshall, formerly a member of the massive Bad Mumford & Sons until he decided to express political views, told me last night how most stars will simply not risk losing their careers. So many people in the music industry are keeping quiet. Is the solution, though, for more of the music industry to be brave and bold like you and actually start speaking up about these? Things? One would hope if you get to a critical mass of people speaking up to the nonsense, then things can change. But it is ludicrous in the music industry where the sine qua non of the entire creative industries is self-expression that people are petrified to, to express, express their themselves. Opinions. It's Indeed. insane. It is insane, but I can understand why. For the so-called impartial state broadcaster to cancel a popular artist for expressing a common sense view most of us share, well, that's a bridge too far. I think the only thing that deserves to be cancelled is the British bashing corporation itself.